With the launch of Android 15, Google has introduced a new feature that they are calling private space. Applications that are locked within a private space have an additional layer of protection as they cannot be accessed until you unlock them. These apps are accessible via the application drawer, but only after you set everything up. So today, I'll show you how to activate the private space feature, how to install apps to it, as well as how to unlock and relock access to the private space. space. To, to begin, begin, you first must have a lock screen set up on your device. Whether this is with a pin, pattern, or password, this is required before you can set up your private space. After that is done, you'll then want to open up the settings application, scroll down until you find the security and privacy menu, and then you need to scroll down again to reveal the new private space option within Android 15. Let's go ahead and tap it. You will be required to enter your PIN, pattern, or password before you proceed. And if this is your first time using the feature, you'll be greeted with this onboarding screen here. We get an animation showing you how the feature works, along with some details about how it works, what is required, and how the apps work when they are installed to your private space. For example, these apps will stop working when you lock your private space. Your private space is not suitable for apps that need to run in the background, since all notifications and activity will cease when that private space is locked. These apps won't appear in your permission manager, privacy dashboard, or other settings when the private space is locked. And your private space cannot be moved to a new device. So you would need to set up another private space if you want to use them on another device. And lastly, anyone who connects your device to a computer or installs harmful apps on your device, they may find a way to access the app data within your private space. So when you're ready to begin, let's tap on the setup button down here in the bottom right. After a few seconds of setting up your private space, you'll be asked if you want to create a Google account that keeps the data for apps in your private space. So if you really want to keep the contents of these apps private, then you'll want to create a new account or log in to a new Google account. That way you don't see any app install activity listed on your main account. And things like photos and videos won't be synced there either. However, this is not required and we can simply tap the do it later option if we want to ignore. With that done, you're then given the option to choose a different pin pattern or password in order to gain access to your private space. You could simply choose to reuse the one that you already have set up by selecting the use lock screen option. But again, this is a nice feature to have for those who really want to keep their private space secure and separate from their normal setup. As we proceed, we'll be asked to wait a few more moments and then you'll get this message saying everything is all set. So we can tap on done and it'll automatically open up the application drawer. That's because this is where you will access your private space and you'll find it all the way at the bottom of your app drawer. Now, to access your newly created private space, you'll find that within the application drawer. 
So we just need to swipe up from the home screen and then scroll all the way down to the bottom. Here, you'll find a new section labeled private with a little lock icon to designate that the private space is currently locked. We can tap on that little icon and then enter our pin pattern or password that was created for the private space. And once this has been unlocked, you'll have access to your locked apps and you'll have the ability to install apps to this private space. So the section down here is a set of pre-installed apps that are automatically added to your private space. But we can also tap on this install button right here, which will then ask us to sign in to a Google Play account for installing those apps. After you sign into a Google account, it will work just like your main account. So we can tap on install to install apps or games to our private space. And again, we access that private space from the bottom of our app drawer. We have that newly installed app right there, along with the pre-installed apps we had before. It's important to note that app data from your device is not carried over when it has been installed to your private space. So even though I have Chefy Chef installed already on this device, that app data is not going to be carried over when I install it to my private space. The same with Chrome, Photos, Videos, YouTube, all of that is kept separate since they are technically installed to a completely different user profile. When you're done accessing the apps in your private space, we can simply tap on this lock button right here to lock everything back up. You can see the apps are now hidden. It's marked private again, and we can go about using our phone like normal. Google has made good use of the user profile system that's already built within the Android firmware when launching this private space feature. I know some people will not be happy with the big private label that sits at the bottom of the app drawer, but maybe we will see this feature evolve over the years if enough people end up using it, which we all know is rather important since Google has a history of removing features like this instead of improving them if they find that not enough people are using them. So, if you have any questions about the Android 15 private space feature, then please feel free to use the comment section below to ask. And don't forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel as it really helps me out.